coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. The Drone Racing League announces Phoenix event. Japan outlaws flying a drone while intoxicated, and Fluidity's FT Aviator drone controller is taking flight. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world. In partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm Sophie Herlock. The Drone Racing League announced it will organize its first large-scale event in the United States. This year's DRL Alliance World Championship season will include a stop at Chase Field in Phoenix, Arizona on September 8th. Using custom-built drones, pilots will fly through a 3D neon-lit course around the field that's home to the Arizona Diamondbacks. The event will also include a family-friendly zone, featuring DRL's first artificial intelligence robotic racing circuit event. AIRR features autonomous DRL drones flown by AI technology and developed by the 2019 Lockheed Martin Alpha Pilot Team winning engineers. Seating locations are expected to be primarily behind home plate, and you can buy tickets for $15 or $30 on DRL's website at thedroneracingleague.com. Now let's take a look at some of the stories making rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities in today's Drone Minute. Earlier this week, DJI introduced DJI Government Edition, a drone solution made specifically for use in high security situations by government agencies. Drones using the Government Edition will not require activation through DJI, and will be shipped with custom firmware that blocks accidental or malicious breaches of data by making sure the drone and its remote control will not pair with off-the-shelf components. The DJI Flight Control app has been changed to permanently allow local data mode, which prevents any connection from the app to DJI servers. Wounded Eagle UAS, a veteran-run nonprofit organization that trains disabled veterans to become FAA Part 107 UAS operators, has completed aerial mapping of VA Greater Los Angeles Healthcare System's 388-acre VA West Los Angeles Medical Center campus. WE used a UAS and UAS mapping software to capture thousands of images of WLA. The images were stitched together to make a three-zone orthomosaic map. Every now and then we see evidence of the drone community being misrepresented by the people who should know better. While giving evidence to the Science and Technology Committee, the UK's Head of Unmanned Traffic Management, National Air Traffic and the NATS, Andy Sage, categorized drone users in a way that concerned many pilots and people in the industry. Um, you know, we regard drone users in kind of three categories, clueless, careless and criminal. Many immediately took to social media to question and call out Sage on his comments. Following this response, Nats apologized on Twitter this morning, stating, Yesterday I gave evidence to the Science and Technology Select Committee in Parliament. Some of my words were inappropriate. I got it wrong. I would like to apologize to any drone pilots, the vast majority of whom are extremely responsible. Oshkosh is a little under a month away, July 22nd through the 27th to be exact. And while it's home to many manned aircraft innovations and marvels, it's also grown to be a major showcase for drones, UAV airframes, and automatic flying machines. As always, we here at Aero News will be there with daily reports every day. Don't miss out on our coverage at aero-news.net. Now back to the rest of the news. The Japanese parliament passed a law making it a criminal offense to fly a drone while intoxicated. Those convicted of flying a drone weighing more than 7 ounces while intoxicated can be fined up to 300,000 yen and face up to a year in prison. The new law also lays out fines for pilots who fly their aircraft in an unsafe manner. For instance, if a pilot intentionally plunges a drone towards a crowd, that pilot could be fined up to 500,000 yen. Other restrictions imposed by the new law include 
No flight within a thousand feet of Japan's armed forces, U.S. military personnel, and defense-related facilities without prior permission. No flight above 500 feet. Avoid airports and crowded areas. No flying at night. The operator must be in visual contact with the aircraft at all times. No license is reportedly required to fly a drone in Japan at this time. Drone pilots from experts to novices can now fly with greater ease, precision and confidence with Fluidity Tech's FT Aviator. Fluidity's uniquely designed drone controller intuitively unlocks the human potential for drone flight with a more natural and exacting way of piloting. Traditional gaming-style two-thumbed controllers are harder to master and make it more difficult to obtain quality imagery while flying in dynamic, unscripted environments. Scott Parazinski, founder and CEO, said, Putting control back in your hands, that's the FT Aviator, something that anyone could pick up and use. I was working in a surgical robotics lab and noticed how clunky the controls were. I just thought, there's got to be a better way to move through space than this. An intuitive single-handed controller that enables up to six degrees of freedom through any physical or virtual space. More natural, accessible, and fun way of piloting. The FT Aviator is currently compatible with nearly all DJI drones and is now available for $299 on Fluidity's website. The price will go up to $499 on July 1st. And that wraps up today's drone report. Thanks for watching and as always don't forget to subscribe, tweet and like us. And for more information on the exciting hobby drone world, head over to modelaircraft.org. I'll see you right back here tomorrow.